Okay, so I'm going to test the adapter for the Star Adventurer 2i uh, to allow use of a laser pen or a bit of poor alignment. So let's see how this works. So if we pop the case off there, slide on my prototype adapter, and then we will just slide in the Python 99 laser pen. that then we are ready to go okay, so I've just adjusted the height of my tripod so we can see the camera I should hopefully be able to aim that up and maybe see the laser once I turn the lights down low so we'll see how that works Oops, wrong way. right here it goes I can see it, but I don't think that's coming through on the camera, which is a bit of a shame. I might have to change cameras to get that to work. Ah, of course the light is on my camera, which I forgot about. Let's try that. Well, I can see it, but I don't think it's going to come up on the camera. Oh, it's a pity I might have tried a different camera to get that shot just to see that it does actually work. Okay, so I'll stop that there and think again. I don't know whether this is going to be coming up on there. What well, that is actually hitting the pool start. Um, I'm trying to get it so you can see it, but I'm feeling miserably at the moment. Okay guys, so we're in the office now, having done the test in the field, or my back garden as it was. Um, you've seen it demonstrated. What you probably wouldn't have been able to see from the pictures is that the laser pen was shooting directly at the polar star at the end of that test. Um, I've done the test a number of times now, and every time when I've looked through the eyepiece, I've seen that the polar star is in the circle so that means all we need to do then is a quick adjustment using our polar clock. So that obviously will speed up the process of polar alignment for deep space astrophotography. If we are just going to be taking pictures of the Milky Way, then all we need to do is line up with a laser pen and that would be more than adequate. So successful item so far. How do we make it? So as you can see in front of you, I've got a packet which says reducing coupler 22 times 15 mil you get two in a pack and they are from B&Q and it was under £6.50 for the pack the other thing we need is some plumbing pipe now the plumbing pipe you need is diameter 30 millimeters so this distance here inside has to be 30 millimeter so you need to make, make sure you measure them from the inside to the inside to get 30 mil or three centimeters that way it fits over the eyepiece of the star adventurer because that is 30 millimeters also so where do we go from there so the next stage is to find which part we need so luckily what we find is that if i put the pen correctly obviously and slot it in there that fits in very nicely but i don't need this whole thing the bit I need is this bit at the end. So taking a trusty Swiss Army knife and using the saw, so I haven't used anything particularly fantastic. I've literally just used this saw off here. And as you can see, it's not even that good a cut because it was just for um, the practice really. I didn't expect it to work straight off as, it, as well as it has. And to be honest, I'm not sure I'll bother doing anything with that now. It does the job. So. What do I do next? I then take some of the piping. Now, when I initially did it, I used longer lengths. What I found was is that the light then was dispersed from the laser pen and didn't actually shine through the Star Adventurer, so I couldn't use it. And then my brain clicked in and I thought, ah, the reason for that is probably because I should really be focusing closer to the lens, which is where your eye would be. So, Having done that, what worked out as 
is about 4.3 centimeters or 43 millimeters is the length that seemed to work the best. So taking this, I then tried to attach it onto here, but as you can see here, it doesn't want to fit. So that required the trusty Swiss Army knife again, which they then took the blade and I scraped out some of this part here until this slots in quite nicely, as you can see. Okay, so that now fits in there, no bother. What I did also though, was make sure that I took the end piece of the um, piping, because that way I know I've got a nice squared off end. If you look at this, when I put the eyepiece part, the, sorry, the pen part there, you can see that it's not a very nice cut and you can't then guarantee that you're going to get a nicely squared off end. You're going to possibly get angles. So this guarantees you get a nice squared off pushing. Okay. So after that, because it was a prototype, all I've done from there, and I just screw that on a little bit more, is take some black electrician's tape and tape that around there. However, before I do that, one more little part is that one of the things I realized when this was hanging off the um, Star Adventure is that this angle droops a little bit. It's got a bit of give. So to get around that, what I did was I took this end off like so. And you can see now it's got a black O-ring, but actually the initial ones had a black and a green. So what I've done is say, well, I don't need the green because that doesn't work very well, but I've pinched the black one out of the other one. So I've now got two black O-rings in there. And I fasten this up. And then when I put the laser pen in, it's a much tighter fit and it doesn't move much. So it's much better. And you can see where the laser pen is just popping through the hole there in perfect center. So again, just taking this and sticking that on the top and quickly squeezing together a bit of electrician's tape. And voila, we have a finished prototype. Obviously a bit Heath Robbins because I've just done quickly on film and you can do a much better job normally. Slot that on there, you can then see that we've got the light coming through like so. Okay, so here we have the Star Adventure. Um, the eyepiece here is, as I pointed out earlier, 30 mil across, which is exactly the same size as tubing you can buy from the plumber section of B&Q. However, the bit here isn't 30 mil, and what you have to do is take some electrician's tape, and it's, I've used black on here, I don't know if you can quite see that on the footage, but I've just wrapped a few pieces around there until it's the same width as the eyepiece so when I put the adapter on it doesn't wobble otherwise what happens you, you find that this rattles around a bit and potentially shifts when you're using it okay so that's the Star Adventurer laser pen adapter um, £6.50 for the plumbing parts a little bit extra for electrician's tape and for the tubing again from B&Q plumbing section the laser pen, this one was 5 99 from the internet. And I think it was a 50 mile green laser pen. Um, I'm not quite sure the make is, it just says laser pointer on there. So these are easy to get a hold of and they're easily recognizable. I've seen them on the internet um, once I've just typed in laser pen. Okay, so I hope uh, you enjoyed that. I hope that's of use. So in the meantime, thank you guys and Talk skies.